I just got done welding in 95 degree heat for about two hours straight, so I thought I'd take a break, come up here in the AC and do a word of the week. So here we are. This week's word of the week is going to be peening. Now peening is a process in which you can repeatedly hit something. In the welding world, it's going to be hitting the weld with a ball peen hammer to relieve stress. That's what it's used for. On uh, a scale of 1 to 10, if you're a welder and you don't know what peening is, it's probably a 6 or a 7. You probably should know what it is. That being said, if you haven't ever welded high carbon steel, cast iron, something that requires peening, you probably don't know what it is. So um, it's a 6 or a 7. You definitely should know what it is, but it's not a huge deal if you don't, especially if you're new to the, the welding field. Uh, why would you? Peen, I got some reasons over here. The three main reasons that I think are stress relief, hardening uh, surface, and finish. Again, stress relief, we're gonna go back to um, welding. You're gonna have one of these. And a multi-pass cast iron weld, which is usually a repair, because cast iron uh, is usually cast and then breaks, and then the welders come in to fix it, right? So with cast iron, it tends to be brittle as it cools just part of the beast. It's got a lot of carbon in it and it, it, it tends to crack after you weld it. One way to combat that is by peening. That's the reason to peen. All right. So if you're doing a multi-pass weld on cast iron, you're going to put one weld down and then you're going to sit there and you're going to beat it. You're gonna, not terribly hard, but not soft either. And you're going to sit there and beat it until you can touch it with your hand. And then you're going to put the next bead in. That's just a general rule of thumb. You peen it until until you can touch it with your hand and then you go to the next bead until your weld is complete. So that's all it is, it's just you hit the weld with a hammer. That's what it is. So it's just ball peen hammer is usually what people use. Welders, anyway, welders anyways. Um, so stress relief is the main reason in the welding world. You're relieving stress on the weld as you're letting that weld cool down. Hardening surface, uh, if you're producing something and you want the surface to be hardened, they'll tend to peen it. Um, let's go over here to hammer. We just went over hammer, right? That's stress relief, right? So you're going to relieve stress by hitting it with a hammer. The hardening of the surface is going to be your needle, your shot, and your roto. Needle is, uh, it's got like uh, little rods that come out and a compressed tool, compressed air tool, and it vibrates and hits the surface to harden it. Shot is actually little balls of steel that shoot out of, a, again, compressed air. They shoot them out and then it hardens the surface. Just a little safety tip, if you're around maybe that's doing shot blasting, uh, the floor is extremely slippery where those are because those little balls are all over the floor. So just a little safety tip, if you're around somebody that's doing shot blasting, brace yourself, you, you can fall. Roto or flail is it flaps that, that, that spin and again beat the material to uh, harden the surface. Finish, a hammered finish. I don't know if anybody's heard of that or if any of you have, but it's a typical finish where there's little indents all over the place and that's done through again hammer so to come back here if you're gonna do a hammer peening it's gonna be just relieve stress or do the finish the hammered finish which if you're gonna do it and produce parts there's probably gonna be a machine that's doing it because you don't want to have one person just sitting there hitting stuff with a hammer uh, it would take forever and it would be unproductivity the productivity would be really low on that Needle, shot, and roto is going to be hardening the surface of something uh, that you want to have a, a layer on the outside that's actually hardened. It's a work hardening process. So again, go back to peening. What's the definition of it? Well, I don't know what the definition of it is, but this is what it is. It's hitting a weld with a ball peen hammer until it cools to relieve stress. All right, that's what that's what this is important in the welding world is to know that peening is hitting it with a hammer to relieve stress. So the weld is nice and cool. Uh, if it actually breaks, you'll be sitting there peening it and you'll hear a ping. That's when you know you're screwed. You got to grind the weld back out and redo it again. So it's just a uh, hammer process, hitting the weld until it cools. So hopefully that explains what peening is. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld, and we'll see you the next time.